7410 right here, uh, here in the gungeon. Hey, um, after you get done doing your re reloads, you get a chance you want to pick yourself up a uh, what's called a case length gauge. Um, basically, what you do is you put this in there, make sure it's flush. If you're not sure if uh, something is flush or not, then you run a ruler over it. If it if it catches, then uh, basically it there there it's no bueno and uh, we'll run through here till we can find one should be able to push it into the case and it should fall out now if you are shooting uh, a bolt action uh, it's not that critical but you have the case length overall length and then also to this right here what it does is it checks to see how this one kind of got stuck right there I'll blow it out and make sure that see if it falls see it doesn't come out so then that one will go into another bucket and that bucket over there that I have is simply designed for uh, bolt action 223 and I'm gonna grab one of these ones that didn't pass you get one right here you feel it with your fingers it doesn't feel right then you grab the ruler and you see that it uh, it catches so that goes over there into Rifle land, rifle land. Same thing here. After you do it a while, you'll 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 you'll, you'll be able to tell right away. I just kind of run my finger over it as my nail scratches it, and if I get it to catch, then I know I have a little bit of problem. It goes relatively quick, and this is pretty much for your automatic weapons or semi-automatic, not automatic, and. Um, overall case length and this meat oh here we go we got one right here see, that, see how that one did go in oh okay maybe I got a little piece of something in there but anyways that's how you do it okay guys this is 7410 Ray in the Gungeon from Arizona saying uh, you guys be good be honest love each other live every day as if it's your last day and uh, remember guys freedom ain't free